Alright, so in the previous video, we saw how do you install Google Cloud Utility. The short for that is G Cloud. Now in this one, let's go ahead and actually set it up so that you are able to use it with your Google Cloud Platform account directly from your terminal. Now again, I'll just open the terminal app. So here is my terminal app. Let me zoom it in a bit. Now if I type G Cloud version, this is just to check that G Cloud is installed on my machine. It shows me the version of the Google Cloud SDK install along with the other utilities it brings in. So now to actually initialize G Cloud, we need to run G Cloud and then init. Init is the short for initialization. So it says that it will take you to the configuration of G Cloud on your local machine. Now it says you must log in to continue. Would you like to log in? So I'll go ahead and press Y. Y stands for yes and press enter. So it opens Safari account and asks me to log in. Now I'm using a different browser, not Google Chrome. So I'm just going to copy this entire thing, entire link over, link over here and go to Safari. You don't need to do this if you're already using Chrome or whatever browser it, it opened by default. I am using Safari, so I'll just copy that link here. Now it says choose an account to continue with Google Cloud SDK. I'll choose my personal account. So once it's say it's done, it says you are now authenticated with the Google Cloud SDK. So it's done now. We can go ahead and close this. And it says you are logged in with your email address. So these are some of the projects which I already have created. It's asking me to choose whether I want to use some of the existing projects or create a new one. Now I'm assuming that you haven't already created a project. So just for the sake of it, we'll go ahead and create a new project to see how it goes. Now it asks me to enter a project ID, which cannot be changed later and should be within six to 30 characters, lowercase digits or hyphens. And it should start with a lowercase letter. So I'll just say YouTube with test and I'll add my name to it so that it's unique. All right, so it's done. So now when I run G Cloud projects list, it should show me my new project which is YouTube with test the best and this is the project ID. So that's how you go ahead and set up G Cloud utility to work with your personal Google account or whatever Google account you're using, actually Google Cloud platform account. Remember Google Cloud platform account can be linked to a non Google account as well. And by the way, if you haven't already set up a Google Cloud platform account, uh, I should have said this earlier, but you can just go ahead and search for Google Cloud platform free trial and it gives you a free trial for $300 which is valid for 12 months. It is quite amazing. The only catch is it asks you for a payment method and the payment method should be credit or a debit card. In some countries it also allows you to use your bank account directly. I would not encourage that. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't charge your debit or credit or your bank account. It just puts that on the paper, on the file basically. Uh, so that if you want to upgrade later on, it will automatically be charged. So go ahead and try it out if you haven't already tried it out. Uh, just sign in with your Google account and create a free trial account and get $300 free for yourself. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please leave in the comments on how could I improve this further. Um, also please don't forget to subscribe and like. It encourages me to create more of these videos. Thank you so much once again.